Difference to uh, coiny, uh, a phrase uh, well known uh, from Monty Python. Uh, Josie Gibson, you know the name Josie Gibson. She was in Big Brother. Um, you don't look like Josie Gibson. You've lost a lot of weight, Josie. I have, yeah, I have. I've been training really hard doing this um, uh, interval training. It's the best like form of weight loss. Yeah. Um, and I, I'd love to get down to 10 stone. I'm oh, don't. Si- no, don't. Stop it. Yeah. I don't need to lose any more weight. Do you really? John, I'm sick of being the fat mate. But you're not... <laughs> <laughs> But you're not the fat mate. How much do you weigh? How much did you weigh? Um, well, when I started training, I was about fourteen stone. And what do you weigh now? Um, I'm well, no, about I think I'm in between about ten and a half, eleven. You look fantastic. Oh, thank I, you. I, I can say that, but you, you, your bloke's out there. So, oh so no, I, that's yeah, not so, my bloke. Yeah. That's right. that's my trainer. We've oh, been training trainer, this morning. Yeah. So, so yeah. This, oh, you, this is your trainer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've been training. You've been this training morning. this morning. Well, you got the downs or something, do you? Or? Um, just at the Barclay Centre, um, right. just behind Jamie Oliver's restaurant. It's uh, yeah, it's good little. Uh, we just go in there and do our interval see, training. So. I wouldn't get past Jamie Oliver's restaurant. No. <laughs> That'd be my problem. Anyway, you look, you look fantastic. Oh, but we're not thanks, here to John. talk about your weight. We're Thank here to talk you. about something that you're going to do, which is, well, frankly, mad. Uh, you are going to abseil down Avon Gorge. I'm going to abseil down Avon Gorge. Yeah, I, uh, I, I can't believe I actually said yes to doing it, but I've got to keep <laughs> remembering that it's for a good cause. Uh, men enjoy us UK mm. um, so uh, I've got a page just give in so yeah. if you want to just give because I'm absolutely terrified to make me feel better about doing it then I'd, <laughs> I'd love that so um, can you remember the first time as a kid you drove over the over the Clifton suspension bridge I do yeah oh how beautiful is it it's how gorgeous, beautiful is it yeah. but I can't believe I've got an upsell down it so uh, I, my, I remember I remember as a kid in my mum's Ford Angler it must have been about 1969 so probably before you were born going under it uh, yeah. uh, for the first time, and I was on the sleep on the back seat and looking up and seeing the streetlights and looking up and seeing the bridge, and that's when I first realised what that bridge was. Yeah, and I was te- I wouldn't go over it. I would kick up merry hell would as, you? as a child until I was about ten years old. I was terrified because I was told I'd learnt in school <laughs> that it was a suspension bridge. So it was a bridge suspended on metal poles cables effectively yeah thought, i'm not going across that that's that's dangerous though good is. old burnout isn't it, eh? <laughs> but you are going to go down that gorge on a road have you ever done anything like this before i um did i did a charity event uh, about uh two years ago for um click and that yeah. was down the side of the children's hospital but that is not as high mm-hmm. as this uh, as the avon gorge so i'm yeah i I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to take those calm tablets or something before I get on. So, so your brother had meningitis. Yeah, like um, when he was about, it, well, he was about two and a half, and uh, yeah, my mum kept taking him to the doctor. She knew something was wrong with him. But mm. back in them days, it was, you know. It, people didn't know the symptoms like yeah. they do now so yeah. uh, we went to the doctors with him it was about seven times and I, I still remember the doctor's name Dr Serafian mm. said take him straight to, into A&E um, they put him on a he, within a matter of like hours he was on a life support machine and he'd had meningitis wow. um, uh, thankfully thankfully he, he survived um, but it has left him profoundly deaf so um, I was asked to do this and I've been working um, with mm. Meningitis UK and because it's such a, a good cause so close to me, mm. how can you not say yeah to... Well, no, because you've, you've got real experience of this, isn't yeah. it? So you're aligning yourself to a charity you quite like the idea of. This is something yeah. that's touched your family. Yeah. Big well, difference. I nearly lost my brother through it, so yeah. uh, we're so lucky to have him. And Meningitis UK, they're, they're amazing. And the support they give to the families, um, you know, there's a young girl who lost her life she's only five years old and the support mm. they give to the families is unbelievable we've had we've had a couple of people t- turn their stories about meningitis and it's one of those diseases that it would appear once it grabs hold of you um yeah you know, your chances are not good and i know this is all about getting a a, a vaccine being able to come up with something that yeah. they can inject you and and solve this problem so exactly we, it doesn't exist anymore that would yeah. be a lovely thing to do amazing thing to so do, yeah. just giving do we just punch in uh, your name into a search engine here josie gibson we put that in there and yeah uh, and, and just giving josie gibson yeah or if you follow me on my twitter which is at josie's tweets i'll uh, retweet my just giving page for you you tweet me and i'll retweet you oh thank See? you very much 
Yes, George. Come on. You That's tweet a deal. me. I'll, I'll retweet you uh, as well. So and and to Steve and Steve Yabsy as well. He oh, can retweet thanks, it. Steve. As well. Yeah, Steve. Yeah. I just wanted to say you look brilliant. Oh, I, thanks, I actually love. Did, I didn't recognise you when you came in. I thought it was this good looking cool woman. Yeah. Stop because it. remember the woman you used to be. I yes. remember. Yeah. I yes. knew there was a fin bird underneath. God, all the bits that have come off have gone into recycling. I hope. But she, you look a you like a different person. Oh, thank you so much. I thought you were some sort of model. to lose more weight. I wouldn't no, lose any more. Exactly. Thank you. Two against no, one. I think, you I think sorry, mate. I think you look. Job. I, I, I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't go any more than you are. But you look sensational. You look a different person. What's your oh, family you. made of your weight loss? Um, well, I think because they see me a lot. I, I, they probably didn't. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's one of those things that you you think. Blimey, yes, you have lost weight, but yeah. they see you every day so they don't notice it. But yeah. I've, uh, I've bumped into some people and they yeah. haven't seen me for like three months and um, they've walked straight past me. I didn't even recognise no, I, 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 yeah, I would have struggled. I would have struggled. Really? But you, look, you look fantastic. You it look it shows, though, how inside every person that's a bit overweight, there's, you know, a, 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 a lovelier-looking, thinner person. <laughs> why are you looking at me, why are you <laughs> looking at me <laughs> like that? <laughs> but you've, you've got to know when to yeah. stop. Yeah. I would yeah. keep it yeah. that way. Yeah. Keep it that way. Yeah. So, uh, post that into a search engine. You tweet me and I'll tweet you as well. Oh, Thank you uh, so much. When's it tomorrow? It's tomorrow, yeah, 10 o'clock. I'm 10 o'clock there. tomorrow. Okay, yeah. so if you see a, a, a very thin, good looking person going Woo, to the Navy Stop Gorge, it, you guys. Josie Gibson. Many thanks <laughs> Thank for coming you. in. Thank Thanks you. a lot. BBC Radio.